any Pakistani player and uh, any Pakistani football player, especially in the women's side in Pakistan, is one of the biggest achievement to be on the Pakistan team itself. That's one of the benchmarks you want to get into, right? And being called a couple of times and it not happening was obviously frustrating, disappointing as a player because there are certain goals you want to meet by the time you're like retiring or whatever. Um, for me, being called for the first time to this camp and showing up over here uh, really means a lot because uh, football has always been a passion. I've always loved football. Football helped me through my bad times, my good times. Whenever I would feel frustrated, I would use a ball, kick it around and feel good about it. So just reaching a point, um, this height of like uh, the game, coming and playing for the Pakistan team itself makes me really happy and really proud of like everyone else also who made it. And obviously, uh, one of the major achievements is coming to the camp and being part of this team. But what do you think are your future aims and goals personally, as well as the overall Pakistan women's national team moving forward? So um, I've played internationally as well with a club called New London Lionesses FC when I was studying in London. And uh, just seeing the standard over there of football and comparing that to what's happening in Pakistan really like shocked me because um, they're working on grassroots levels, they're working on um, com competitive football over there. Everyone's trying to like get to the top. In Pakistan, it's here and there, but I would really, really love to see uh, the baby, especially the future generation of footballers, um, the young players being worked on, coming up, making it to the Pakistan team, and then eventually going abroad. Because that's the ultimate aim, right? Being recruited by clubs abroad, playing for them. And that's what we should be aiming for. And personally as well, if I get to that level, I would love to play for, um, represent my country somewhere abroad as well, or play for my country with other teams too. So obviously you've had exposure with for women's football abroad. Um, that would put you in a good spot to share your thoughts on this camp and the, the level of training sessions and everything that's happening here. So what are your thoughts on that? I'm uh, really, really satisfied and happy and grateful to be honest because our coach, Danny himself, he has uh, experienced uh, football um, in the Spanish league, whatever. And uh, he's brought that experience to the women's team over here. He, we're working on the latest drills. We're working on mindset. We're working on physical uh, improvement. We're working on football itself. We're working on um, so many things that Pakistani coaches were missing. But now that's been compensated for because he's brought this experience in. Um, when I was playing for um, the club abroad, um, it was a six month thing. Um, what I learned over there was that more than um, your talent, it was your mindset that they worked on more, you know, the hunger, the drive. And that's what Danny also brings in into play because he's like, at the end of the day, you have the skills, you have the talent, but do you have the hunger to win? So that mindset, that Pakistani women's football team's mindset that he's working on, which is the good part. You mentioned that um, it took you pretty late uh, in terms of your age to start football and you know start playing properly for a club um do you think having regular and competitive football um like these camps and even in on the domestic level is going to help break that barrier for upcoming you know female footballers who are young and who are you know um, reaching trying to reach that stage uh you're absolutely right regularly if we have these competitions regularly in uh, pakistan um it will definitely help women men uh, children, uh, boys and girls, it will definitely help get the competition up, get the skill level up. People will be more interested in playing football because there will be something to look forward to. There, because it's really frustrating for a player to train all year round, but there's no outcome, there's no avenue to go towards, you know. So if we have competition, if we have these camps all year through, I think there's going to be more talent popping up, more competition popping up. People would want to raise the bar. And that's what we need to start doing. Fantastic. And just last question, uh, what do you think of the support and response that you have received uh, in terms of the women's national team and the, you know, the public outpour of emotions and passion that you've seen? I think it is um, absolutely an honor to be part of this team. And I'm very, very grateful for all the public support, the media attention and everything that's coming our way. Because at the end of the day, it is about... Um, people accepting what you're doing and uh, especially in this country if you're being supported 
you will eventually rise and you will eventually promote the sport itself.